Sheffield United, zero. The best team in the league currently, six. Flick FC is back. I need a haircut. Who cares? Who cares? Since I got the goggles, the Jurgens. Yeah, everyone is worried. They are flapping. We are dissecting teams, decimating the defense, absolutely scintillating from minute one. As soon as that whistle kicked off, oh my days, crazy. Hit the bar, off the line, block shot, block shot, all inside one minute. Feet up half time again. Fans are leaving after 16 minutes. Why are you leaving? It would have been the best football you've witnessed at that ground all season. Yeah, because your team are dead. Anyway, let's smoke the worst team ever to grace the Premier League. Or embarrass the Premier League, should we say. Fuck. Big up to the zone. They're replaying the game for me right now. Mmm. Smash the like button. Rival fans' tears. Top mutants' tears. Mutants infesting my chat at half time. But, 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 how about just celebrate being 5 0 up at half time instead of worrying about what Lee Gunner's saying? Here's what it is, guys. Anyway, make sure you sub to Lee Reacts as well. We'll be back tomorrow for the uh, Genduzi Harry Kane. Um, <laughs> we will be back for the Bayern Munich game. Uh, but anyway, on to tonight. Uh, starting 11, we were like, mm, okay, should beat him anyway. I said um, with Saeed today, I said with um, with Kenny and Jez, their fan cams are coming up, same with Matty, player ratings as well, that if we can see the goal today, I'm going to be fuming. I fully expected to slap them, and we fully slapped them. However, on the podcast, I did say it could go one or two ways. We score early, they fold like a deck of cards. Or they just put everyone in their penalty box. We don't break them down, and it's a nervy one or two nil victory. Guess what, guys? The best team to watch in the Premier League right now. Absolutely hammered them. And real talk, no exaggeration, that could have been a Premier League record tonight. Could have been a Premier League record. We could have been seven or eight up at half time like i said declan rice had a shot blocked in about 40 seconds bounce to saka shanks the bar martin elliott ricochets to him off the line then saka had the one that was blocked we had a couple other little half chances um but we were fantastic honestly that that was so good to watch and again again we're sitting there after 16 minutes 15 16 minutes in job done Fair play to every single one of them players tonight. Fair play to the manager tonight. Yeah? Let's see how many of you clip that in it. Yeah? Fair play to every single one of them tonight because we went out there after watching Liverpool score a 99th minute winner and after Man United absolutely nausing it up. You had one job. When you must, you didn't must in that. Big up Saeed. But we went out there from the get-go and we looked like we were on it and we were on it. Yeah? And then second half... Fair enough. Job's done. We can bring on subs. Yeah, again, the subs didn't really impact the game. Uh, Thomas Pike looked very rusty. Yeah, Jesus always looks off balance. <laughs> but again, he's rusty. Uh, Trossard didn't really do much. Um, Fabio Vieira had some nice little touches here and there, but again, didn't do a great deal. But the fact that we sub Saka at half time, pick up the manager. He obviously watches my fan cams. He obviously watches the podcast with Kenny and Jez and Matty. He obviously watches the shows, guys. <laughs> because we are actually doing what I want. And it is so nice to see. Three straight away games on the spin. Three in a row. We've scored at least five. Premier League record. I think we've scored eight goals less than Man United have scored all season. And we've done that since January. First of January. Since New Year's Day, I think we've scored... I think I may be wrong. Correct me in the chat, yeah. Because I'm just I'm I'm in the, I'm on Mars right now. I'm flying. Another great performance, but I think we've scored eight goals. Let I think we scored 29 goals. I may be wrong, yeah. In the Premier League since the turn of the year, Man United. I think they've scored 37. I may be wrong, but either way, leave it in the chat. But we're smoking that Sheffield United pack. 
Brighton, sorry, not Brighton, Brentford must be absolutely shit in a brick. They're thinking, wow, we've got to go to the Emirates. We've conceded seven shots on target in our last seven games. Relentless. Yeah, we looked so on it today. Hopefully Martinelli's okay. He looked like he couldn't put any weight on his um, on his right foot. But listen, every single one of them today, absolutely quality. Our captain today was immense. He was everywhere today. Yeah, Declan Rice everywhere today. Yeah, I'm giving Odegaard man of the match. Yeah, he was absolutely quality from the get-go. Scored the first goal, straight off, bang. Yeah, he was everywhere. He was left, he was right, he was centre, he was coming into midfield. Yeah, cool, people are sitting there and go, oh, but they're rubbish. Yeah, they are rubbish. How comes nobody else is popping them 6-0 every week then? How comes nobody else is popping them 6-0 every week? Fair enough, Newcastle scored eight against them and a few others have scored five against them. Yeah, but ain't happening every week, is it? And they are dog awful. We put five past them at the Emirates and we put six past them tonight and it could have been 16. Could have been 16. I don't know how many shots we had in total. Yeah, but we absolutely dominated. Absolutely dominated. Yeah, 29. I even celebrated his goal, guys. That's how well he played tonight. The one he set up for Ben White. We've seen him take some dead first touches this season. Yeah, especially in the last couple of games. Like one bounced off him and went 15 yards right. That first touch and then the second touch at, to, and then to lay it off to Ben White. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Saka tonight looked on it. Martinelli looked on every single one of them. Even defensively, we were so aggressive tonight. So aggressive. They're awful. Don't get it twisted. They're awful. However... You've still got to put them to the sword. And we absolutely went ham tonight. Ruthless settings. Yeah, and it's been a joy to watch. I can't lie. I don't know what happened in Dubai. Yeah, <laughs> guys, it's working. Yeah, we've got the best goal difference in the league. We've got 10 plus goal difference, I think. In fact, let me have a look while we're here. Smash these likes up, guys. Sub to the channel. Uh, we have 10 goal difference better than Man City. And we've got six better than Liverpool. Obviously, they play each other at the weekend. So one, if not both, are going to drop points. We play Brentford. If they draw, we could be top of the league. But then we have to then go to the Etihad. And that is a massive task for us. You know, I think they're unbeaten in God knows how many games. You know, obviously, they beat Man United. They folded at the weekend. But listen, every single one of them tonight was absolutely insane. Yeah, And the fact that we don't even look like conceding. They had a one-on-one. -on -one and the goalkeeper saved it, but I never never thought he was going to score, if I'm honest. Yeah, I don't know why their fans were leaving. You know, like the stadium was empty after about 26 minutes when the fourth goal went in. Why are you leaving? Why aren't you just going kind of, you, your team's dead? Yeah, and, and as bad as they are, and people say how bad the players are and their spineless and this and that. What do you expect? They got promoted, spent barely any money, and sold two of their better players. One to a rival, promotion rival in Burnley. What do you expect? Yeah, any of them fans that are kicking off and going mad should be venting their anger towards the club. Yeah, not towards the players. The players are average. We know this. They're, they're literally championship level at best. You know, and Arsenal clearly ain't. You know, Arsenal are title level as it stands. Whether we win it or not remains to be seen. This could all be in vain, guys. But we looked on it. We looked absolutely on it. We were attack, 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 attack. Now, I don't know how many shots we had. Let's see how many shots we had. But we absolutely pumped them. We had one, two, three, four, five different goal scorers tonight. Plus the own goal. We had 22 shots, 10 on target, scored six. 81% possession, nearly 900 passes. 892. They had 212. Our pass accuracy. We were, we were literally, yeah, just popping the ball around for fun. It was like somebody on a PlayStation or an Xbox, you know, playing against their, like, younger brother or something that's, like, 12 years younger than them, like a 12-year-old playing against an adult, you know, a pro FIFA player playing against a rookie. That's what it was like tonight. Yeah, literally just popping the ball around, pass a move, physical, getting stuck in. You know, they were trying to, trying to um, get physical with us, and we stood up to the task tonight, and we said, no, we're going to dominate you. Yeah, we're going to dominate you. We were absolutely quality. Yeah, Kivior again with a no-look square back. Absolutely fantastic performance. Yeah, for me, yeah, we're, we're looking really good. 
we are looking really, really good. And I'll have mutants in my comments saying, oh, you must be fuming. Really? Do me a favor. Do me a favor. The club is doing exactly what I want it to do. Yeah, and we've scored goal after goal after goal. You know, we're still sat third, but we're only two points off the top, guys. Yeah, and we've got Brentford. We have to win that game. I do think we'll win that game. They were awful at the weekend. It's got a banger, but they were awful. And I do think we'll win that game. But that Liverpool City game, yeah, that's going to be crucial. And if City win that or Liverpool win that, either way, if somebody wins that game, yeah, we've got to go to the Etihad after the Brentford game. If City win against Liverpool, which is, I don't know, it's at Anfield, so it's going to be difficult for them. But if they do somehow get over the line and then they beat us at the Etihad, it's curtains. So fine margins, guys, fine margins, clear and obvious, guys. Uh, but listen, big up to everyone who locked into the watch along. Uh, Kenny, Jez and Matty are coming up next. Leave your comments down below. And um, yeah, we're flying. This has been sick. Adios. Ciao.